everyone welcome to my virtual class I am Mom J and I'm your teacher for today happy learning ngayong araw tuturuan ko kayo kung paano mag transform ng vertex form into quadratic functions so Unahin muna natin yung f of x equals a times quantity x minus h squared plus k. Then, itatransform natin siya into f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So, simula na natin. So, let's have number 1. So, ang ibin natin sa number 1 ay f of x equals 3 times quantity x plus 4 raised to 2 minus 8. So, ito yung ating given. So, kung na, nung nakaraan, pag nag-transform tayo ng quadratic function into vertex form, na completing the square tayo, ngayon naman, dahil nagka-transform tayo ng vertex form into quadratic functions, so, ang gagawin natin, square of binomial. So, ito yung uunahin natin, yung square of binomial. So, kunin natin yung product na ating square binomial. So, square the first term. So, we have x squared. And then, multiply the first term and the last term. So, we have 4x then times 2. So, we have 8x. Then, square the last term which is 4. So, 16. And then, minus 8. So, copy natin si 8. Ayan. Tapos, distributive property naman. So, pagkatas natin mag-square binomial distributive property. Kung meron tayong number outside the quantity. So, 3 times x squared is 3x squared. 3 times 8x is 24x. And 3 times 16 is 48. Then, copy yung negative 8. So, combine natin to dahil like term sila. So, we have 3x squared plus 24x so 48 minus 8 is equals to 40 so ating final answer is 3x squared plus 24x plus 40 so from vertex form, so ito yung ating vertex form which is f of x equals 3 times quantity x plus 4 raised to 2 minus 8 so naging f of x equals 3x squared plus 24x plus 40 So, ito yung kanya. So, from vertex form, naging quadratic function na siya. Ayan. So, tandaan, para ma-change natin si vertex form into quadratic function, so, square natin yung ating binomial, then, i-multiply natin kung meron tayong number sa ating sa labas na ating quantity or sa labas na ating parenthesis and then combine similar term. So, yan po yung ating sagot. So, let's have number 2. So, ang given natin ay f of x equals 4 times quantity x minus 2 squared plus 4. So, from vertex form, i-transform natin siya into quadratic function. So, unahin natin yung ating square of binomial. So, square the first term. So, we have x squared. Then, multiply the first term and the last term. So, we have negative 2x. Then, times 2. So, negative 4x. And then, square the last term. So, plus 4. And then, plus 4. So, distributive property naman. So, 4 times x squared is 4x squared. 4 times negative 4x is negative 16x. And 4 times 4 is 16. Plus 4. So, combine similar terms. So, we have 4x squared minus 16x. So, 16 plus 4 is 20. So, the quadratic function of the vertex form f of x equals quantity 4. Ah, equals 4 times quantity x minus 2 squared plus 4 is f of x equals 4x squared minus 16x plus 20. So, let's have number 3. So, ang given natin ay f of x equals 2 times quantity x minus 3 over 
squared minus 3 over 2. So, change natin siya or i-transform natin siya into quadratic function. So, ganun ulit. So, square muna natin yung ating binomials. So, we have x squared minus 6 over 2 x plus 9 over 4 minus 3 over 2. Ayan. So, square the first term. So, we have x squared. Then, multiply natin itong dalawa times 2. So, we have negative 6 over 2 x. And then, square natin yung last term which is positive 9 over 4. Then, copy natin. The distributive property. So, we have 2x squared. So, 2 times negative 6 over 2x. So, 2 times negative 6 over 2x is negative 6x. 2 times uh, 9 over 4 is equals to positive 9 over 2. Then, minus 3 over 2. Yeah. So, combine natin to. So, we have 2x squared minus 6x. So, 9 minus 3 is equals to positive 6 over 2. So, 9 over 2 minus 3 over 2. So, 9 minus 3 is 6. Then, copy the denominator. So, we have 6 over 2. And, 6 over 2 is equals to 3. So, we have the final answer is equals to 2x squared minus 6x plus 3. So, the quadratic function of the form f of x equals 2 times quantity x minus 3 over 2 squared minus 3 over 2 is f of x equals 2x squared minus 6x plus 3. So, let's have number 4. So, given natin ay f of x equals quantity x plus 5 squared minus 3. So, ito yung ating vertex form. So, i-transform natin siya into quadratic function. So, square natin yung ating binomial. So, square the first term. So, we have x squared. So, multiply natin itong dalawa. So, we have 5x. Then, times 2. So, we have 10x. Then, square the last term, which is 25 minus 3. Combine similar terms. So, combine natin to. So, we have x squared plus 10x. So, 25 minus 3 is 22. So, the quadratic function of our vertex of our vertex for f of x equals x quantity x plus 5 squared minus 3 is f of x equals x squared plus 10x plus 22. And for our last numbers, we have number 5 f of x equals 3 times quantity x plus 2 squared minus 8. So, from vertex form, i-transform natin siya into quadratic function. So, square natin yung ating binomial. So, square the first term. So, we have x squared. Then, multiply natin to times 2. We have 4x. Then, square the last term. So, we have 4. Then, minus 8. Then, distributive property, so 3x squared, so 3 times 4x is 12x, and 3 times 4 is 12. Then, minus 8, then combine similar terms, so we have 3x squared plus 12x, so 12 minus 8 is equals to 4. So, we have the answer, f of x equals... 3x squared plus 12x plus 4. So, tatandaan nyo lang, pag nag-change tayo ng vertex form into quadratic functions, so, i-square lang natin yung ating binomial. And then, kung kailangan gumamit na distributive property, mag-distributive property, and then combine similar terms. So, ganun lang po kadali kung paano mag-transform ng vertex form into quadratic functions. So, sana meron kayong natutunan sa araw na ito. Thank you for watching! Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time!